So here's the graph of y equals the square root of x. The blue horizontal line is the graph of y equals 1. And this green vertical line, x equals 0. This region is what we're revolving about the y-axis, which is also the line x equals 0. Uh, and we're supposed to use the washer method. Now, the, the washers, a typical washer is perpendicular to the axis of revolution. This distance right here, that's the radius of a typical washer. And, the, and, we, and these washers occur infinitely many of them, like this. And so we're piling up these washers as we move along the y-axis. And we're going to be integrating from 0 to 1. The uh, volume of a typical washer is the radius squared, pi times the radius squared. The question is, what's an expression for this distance right here? And this is an x distance, and it corresponds to the posi position that we are on the y-axis. So we want to solve for x in terms of y. So if we square both sides of this equation, we get x equals y squared. So this distance right here is really y squared. Whatever y value we're encountering as we move from 0 to 1 along the y-axis to get the corresponding radius of the washer, we square that y value and we will have the radius. Of course, the thickness of the shell is represented by dy. So here's the radius. Here's the radius squared, and there's the thickness of the washer. So there's your definite integral, which of course you can write as pi times the definite integral from 0 to 1 of y to the fourth dy. So the antiderivative, of course, is 1 fifth y to the fifth. Evaluate that from 0 to 1, multiply by pi, and you've got your answer. Okay, I'm going to share my screen, go to Desmos real quick, and I'll hide the region that we're rotating so that you can see as we move from, from 0 to 1 along the y-axis, the corresponding x value for each y is y squared. And we're in essentially piling up these washers as we move from 0 to 1. That's, that's uh, what we mean by finding the definite integral from 0 to 1. Okay, hope that helps you set up the definite integral for this problem. Mm -hmm.